And this is the den bin. Oh, wow. Closet, refrigerator. Up yeah. Alright, Eric. So I keep these wedges under there just while I'm driving. Oh, that's a Basically, great idea. Just as an added support, and then this. This is just a little bungee deal. Wow. This is my pantry, a lot of food. Uh, I have a little tray back there that I put, keep all my canned goods in. You oh, pull yeah. And, uh, and this is miscellaneous closet clothes, towels, uh, sweaters. And I got these drawers and other cool. stuff. And uh, in here I have a a big pot for when I want to make up pots of chili or gumbo or whatever. Yeah. And then this is my closet, my refrigerator. It's an Ingle. Had for about ten or eleven years, easy. Uh, it does great. It's one I had on a sailboat when I lived on a sailboat for a year. Cool. And it's got metal walls inside, which help keep the cold longer, so it doesn't uh, burn as much energy. I bought this one this year, and uh, I hardly use it, except maybe on weekends. It burns more power, and it doesn't keep the food as cold. Hmm. And then, uh, that's a Dometic. Plastic. Yeah, it's a Dometic. Yeah. It's got plastic lining, and I think that's part of the reason it doesn't keep the temperature, was this one keeps it better. Did you guys switch? This is my sink. Um, I don't have a drain on it. I just use a bowl and take it out and dump it. I sort of like that better. I was thinking about it, but then yeah. you got to worry about a, a valve so that this odor doesn't come out and stink, you know. This is my hot plate, and it's wired up to the propane tank. This is the TV. It's uh, oh, that's well, it's cool. nice bracket so that I can watch it. I usually pull it about like that when I'm lying yeah. in bed and watch it, but I can also swing it around and... Watch it outdoors. Sweet. Open that door if I want. That's neat. Oh, let's see. Oh, and I got USB, two ports here, and a cigarette lighter adapter, which will power that fan. I don't need it right now. And uh, I got another one over here under the shelf where my speaker and iPod are. Uh, under here. And you have this table. This is what I want to do, too. On yeah, I just put a piano hinge there, swing it out. Oh, yeah. I've got extra counter space. And that's cool. That, do what I need to do in cooking. Hold in and the other thing is, and we when this door opens up, yes, I just, I no, yeah. access to my water jug. Uh, seven yeah, gallons of water there. My, and it pumps. This is a pump. I, I didn't go I electric. It so it just pumps up. Yeah, that's and cool. And then uh, I have a shower bag, and I hang it here, and well, I, my screen will be there so a lot of times, so I can take a shower. Um, I got a, that pole that's on the back shelf in the garage. I put it up top between the two, and that keeps them from falling in on me. And yeah. I take a bungee cord, and I put it down at the bottom, and I just step over it, and that holds it together. So with the two forces offsetting each other, I've got my own little private shower. That's cool. And Excellent. with these, I don't need to worry too much about the side. But if I yeah, out, really. If I was out in the middle of somewhere with other people around, I could just take a tarp and drop it over. Yeah. Because that board, that pole would be here. Uh, I utilize hooks, so every morning I go to Planet Fitness, this is the bag I carry in, it's got another brush shaver, uh, my clothes and workout clothes and all that, and it hangs on a hook. I have another backpacking, so when I'm going to go hiking, and I have this, which carries a spro small propane tank as a spare backup. Uh, this is my big propane tank, I can reach it from inside and turn it on or off, uh, it's the one that a very kind gentleman gave me. These are my dirty clothes bags. Um, this is my inflatable kayak. Cool. Awesome. This is uh, another hook, and I have another knapsack on there. And my leather coat, which I got out yesterday because it's cold. It's winter. Winter is set in. Um, my bed is constructed differently than just about every band build I've seen because everybody always puts legs down. And I didn't want to be hindered and restricted by legs. Mm -hmm. So I took a 2x6 and ran across there, and another one here, and then I did 2x4s so that they're oh, dry. That's, yeah. I don't have to worry about condensation. Like and this. That's like cool. Idea. And then I only screwed down one side because this van is going to flex and twist as you're going over mm -hmm. roads. Uh -huh. So this side over here, they're, they're not tied down or screwed. 
But I put a block on each side so that they can't move but so far. Nice. That's, that's cool. So, that is. That's a great idea. And I put a shelf up here, which I got the idea off of Brian, Adventure Van Man. Yeah. And I got another fan up there. I got a roof vent. I got a shelf above the bed. It's got my little speaker, my Bose speaker, and my iPod so I can listen to music. <laughs> Very cool. And what's down on the, underneath your kayak? Underneath my kayak are my batteries. Um, I have four 100 amp hour batteries. Cool. And I built the box for them, and this is my inverter. And I have my charge controller right here, a nice big heat sink on it. Both lights are flashing, which means my batteries are full. I've got a voltmeter right up there, they're at 14.3 right now. And uh, there's more stuff. My boots and containers that have a lot of my clothes, winter clothes and stuff. I've been switching out from time to time. Yeah. So what's your solar power on top? I have two 150 watt panels. So okay, 300, 300 watts. Watt. Solar power and I've got 400 amp hour batteries. And the other nice thing is, is I didn't have to drill a hole in the roof with this van for the wires. I just pop these off. I got them running down, put Gorilla Tape over them. Cool. I just pop these off and they come down here and then I put a drip because it's going to rain and that way the rain just drips off and it won't go into the van. Nice. Brilliant. Uh-huh. So that saved me another puncture on the roof. Cool.